Let's begin with the basics. How can we add two numbers? Let's start with something simple. 5 plus 4. Now you know 5 plus 4 is 9. You can type it in the calculator, but if you want to get the answer mentally, picture where 5 is located on a number line. 0 is in the middle, and here is 5. Now, if you want to add 4 to 5, simply travel 4 units to the right. Anytime you wish to add a number, travel to the right on a number line. If you wish to subtract, move to the left. So if we travel 4 units to the right, the next point is 6, and then 7, and then 8, and then 9. So 5 plus 4 is 9. So let's say if we wish to add 5 to negative 7. So here's 0. And let's count 7 spaces toward the left. So here's negative 7. So if you wish to add 5 to negative 7, count 5 units to the right. This is the first one, the second, third, fourth, fifth. So this is where we should stop. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. Now it's your turn. Add these two numbers. Negative 6 plus 8 using the number line technique. So you can start with 8 or you can start with negative 6. Let's do it both ways. Let's start with negative 6. So we're going to add 8 units to it. So let's travel 8 units to the right. So the first one is going to be negative 5. The second is negative 4. That's the third. This is the fourth and then fifth. That's the sixth unit to the right and then the 7th, and then the 8th. So negative 6 plus 8 is 2. Now you can reverse it. Negative 6 plus 8 is the same as positive 8 minus 6. So if we started at 8 and traveled 6 units to the left, the first one would be 7, and then 6, the third is 5, and then 4, and then 3, and then 6 units to the left will take us to 2. Now what if we want to subtract two numbers using a number line? How can we do so? So let's start with 5. Now if you want to subtract 3 units from 5, you need to travel three units to the left. So here's the first one, the second, and the third. So this is four, three, and we're gonna stop at two. So five minus three is equal to two. Now try this one. Let's say if we have negative six and we wish to subtract it by three. What is the answer? Let's say this is zero and this is negative six. So keep in mind, if you want to subtract, you need to move to the left of the number line. So since we want to subtract negative 6 by 3, we need to travel 3 spaces to the left. This is negative 7, negative 8, and negative 9. Therefore, negative 6 minus 3 is equal to negative 9. Now it's your turn. Try this one. What is 4 minus 7? So let's start with positive 4. And let's travel 7 units to the left. So 1, 2, 3, this is the fourth one. And then 5, 6, 7. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Therefore, 4 minus 7 is equal to negative 3. Try this. Negative 6 
actually let's say negative 3 minus 4. So starting with negative 3, we need to move 4 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7. So negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. Now what if you were to see an example that looks like this? Negative 4 minus negative 5. What would you do? So whenever you see two negative numbers next to each other, it's equivalent to a positive number. So this expression is the same as negative 4 plus 5 which you can rewrite it as 5 minus 4, which is 1. But using a number line, we could start at negative 4 and add 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1 is 0 and 1. And that's the answer. Now, let's say if you want to add two large numbers. For example, what is the sum of 56 plus 33? You know how to add two small numbers. You can use a number line for that. But if you want to add two large numbers, here's a simple way you can do it. First, line up the two values and then add. 6 plus 3 is 9. 5 plus 3 is 8. So the answer is 89. Try this one. 147 plus 52. So first, rewrite it like this. Seven plus two is nine. Four plus five is nine. And since there's no number here, treat it as if it's a zero. Because zero is nothing. 1 plus 0 is 1. So 147 plus 52 is 199. Let's try another example. 79 plus 158. So first, let's rewrite it. Now, 8 plus 9 is 17. So we need to write the 7 and carry over the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry over the other one. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 79 plus 158 is 237. And let's try one more example. 567 plus 855. Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. Five plus seven is twelve. Carry over the one. One plus six is seven. Seven plus five is twelve. Carry over the other one. One plus five is six. Six plus eight is fourteen. So five sixty seven plus eight fifty five is fourteen twenty two. How can we subtract two large numbers? Let's say if we want to find the value of 76 minus 45. How can we do so? First, let's rewrite it. And then subtract. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. 7 minus 4 is 3. So 76 minus 45 is 31. Try this example, 54 minus 37. What's the answer? Now notice that if we subtract 4 by 7, we get negative 3. And so that's a problem. What we need to do is something different. We need to borrow a 1. We're going to borrow a 1 from 5. So 5 is going to change to 4. 
and 4 is now 14. 14 minus 7 is 7, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So the answer is 17. Let's try another example like that. What is 346 minus 179? Six minus nine, that's a negative number, so let's borrow a one. So we're gonna have 16. 16 minus nine is seven, and the four is now a three, but three minus seven is a negative number, so we're gonna have to borrow another one. 13 minus seven is six, and the three is now a two. Two minus one is one. So 346 minus 179 is equal to 167. Now what about this example? What's 27 minus 45? Notice that 45 is larger than 27. So we know the whole answer has to be negative. Therefore, reverse it. If you reverse it, you're going to get a positive answer and then just make your final answer negative. Now 4 minus 5 is not going to work so we need to borrow a 1 and this will become 15. 15 minus 7 is 8 3 minus 2 is 1. Now if 45 minus 27 is 18 27 minus 45 is negative 18 and so that's the answer.